it's time to cleanse. Not forgetting you. So let's see what the collective guidance is. What's the collective guidance for everybody today? Let's see what the tip is for everybody today. That's too many. Let's see what the tip is. What's the tip for collectives today? Right, okay guys, so let's get into explaining about the Knight of Rods. In the traditional tarot, this comes up as the Knight of um, Wands. This is the mid process because there is like a, a stage of order. There is pages, there is knights, and then there's a king or a queen. So that is the process of growth that comes up in the tarot quite regularly. In this case, this is speaking about you fighting, um, meaning energetically fighting, not physically fighting, but you're being charged up with energy today for your passions, your motivations and anything that you're enthusiastic about. This is speaking about having a clear vision about what you want to create and then fueled by your passions and your inspirations, you're going to be moving forward towards that today. Okay. If you haven't made moves towards it, this is helping you to understand this is your sign to go for it, okay? You've got to be bold and courageous today. You need to be willing to venture into unknown territories to further your mission and your dreams in the first place. Um, adventures are something that um, your energy is calling you to get onto. This can be adventures of service. This can be adventures in your relationship. This can be adventures... Um, for travel but whatever it is it's starting the first progressive steps um, to start this because you're clearly committed to some sort of vision and a purpose so this is where the process starts to begin to bring it to life because your passions lay here as well you've got to be mindful though because today this energy can show up as a person that acts first and then thinks later so in pursuit of your action, you may be impulsive and impatient and expect everything to be done yesterday. So whilst you're bursting with energy, you might have a tendency to rush into things and have little consideration for the consequences of your actions, which may make the tension card come in here. But if it's work related, it's encouraging you to take swift action and turn your ideas into something real. Alternatively, um, you might encounter the Knight of Wands in your workplace today. This is someone who's action oriented, ambitious and courageous. Um, they might be a little bit of an annoying distraction. They might be stubborn, but they will want everything done yesterday. So their expectations are a little bit too high. Okay. So you've got to make sure that you tame your energies with regards to being around this person if this is the case. Okay. Um, with regards to your relationships and love, this can be a highly sexual and energetic character who embraces life and makes most of its dynamic energy. So your sexual desires may be coming quite um, <laughs> ignited today. If not, your partner's sexual desires may be ignited, okay? This might be a long-term partner. It might be like new action in your life as well. But if you're looking for love, this suggests that you will soon meet a highly charged, attractive partner full of energy and he loves to flirt as well. If you're already in an established relationship, this reflects the sexual chemistry that exists between you both um, spiritually. This is suggesting that you're willing to take the risks to accomplish your mission of spiritual growth. You'll be enthusiastic about exploring your spiritual belief system and having this great, like, um, it's like a, an inflamed energy, a passionate energy. You just need to be mindful that you don't get too carried away and you end up feeling like um, you're sinking into an ungrounded place, okay? So that's your advice collectively today. Let's see what the tip is. Okay, beautiful. So what you need to understand with the tension card today, your tip is to understand that life is a workout. There's some sort of juggling that you need to do, basically to be able to eventualize your new ambitious dreams in your life or a project that you're already working on that you're highly passionate about. 
this is asking you to juggle some things around to accommodate this new passion that you want to bring in. This is also speaking about being careful of your coordination and competing needs. So if you see somebody else that's really passionate and in their vortex, in their authenticity, doing really well, and you feel this area of tension within yourself, this is not tension that you should be exerting towards that person. This is something that you need to be healing within yourself because this is your ambitious energy in your solar plexus trying to tell you, come on, you're about more. You can exert your ambitions more than sitting back and watching other people achieve their dreams. You can stop creating tension within yourself by comparing yourself and you can start to think of yourself as an authentic person that has something authentic to give to the universe. Then this is when your own natural authenticity, your own ideas, everything that you want to bring into the universe will come from a very authentic place without being on the back of watching somebody else's um, progression. Even if you wish this person well, it's still going to create some tension within you because you may feel pulled between one path or another. And as I've said, the Knight of Wands is actually being put in between one path or another, which is a decline of immaturity or an incline of maturity and you upgrade to the king or the queen or you decline down to the page and then you start the process again because there is a law of order with regards to spirituality. So as I'm saying, the tip here is to help you to understand that you may feel pushed and pulled between one path or another or pushed to make a decision today but with some fancy timing and rhythm, you may be able to do it all, okay? So work with people today who have a di diverse mindset, people with skills and backgrounds um, with regards to these skills and these gifts that they have, people that you inspire, uh, that you in yeah, you're very inspired by, okay? These collaborations will be really productive and enriching for you, as, okay? So you need to find the points of ease today. Um, a few things that everybody agree on, okay? So you need to find the common commonality between everybody at the moment and build from there. You need to honour the difference and then expand. So honour the differentiation between you and others around you who cause tension inside of you today. And this is when you'll start to honour the difference and the differentiation between you and them. Therefore, you will start to expand, okay? So this is also asking you to understand that there's some sort of clashing pieces can be around each other out of um, creativity and still make a beautiful symbol of wholeness. So there is a polarity. So with the good, there is the bad. And to be able to think about things in the middle is the polarity, is the balance. So you need to understand that as well. Um... I'm also being told to tell you that a butterfly needs to struggle before it comes out of the cocoon in order to have the circulation in its wings to fly. Whatever is going on today that's building tension inside of you, this situation is actually building your strength. So get ready to fly, okay? The challenge for your day to day is a workout of the body, of the mind, of the spirit. Okay, these workouts could be tiring though. The reason I'm saying it's tiring is because there's somebody with like a high passionate desire here to exert and execute their plans and there is tension in between the execution of these plans. Okay, um, take this opportunity to build strength and learn to reconcile with the conflicts inside of yourself. When you can resolve internal conflicts, it's easier to resolve any conflicts outside of you, okay? So I'm sending you guys buckets of love. I hope that that's helped you guys. It was pretty in-depth today. Um, and have a wonderful day. Bye. And let me know how you got on with it. Do you relate?